My dear viewers, welcome to today's message. Today being Thursday, March 7th, 2024, and the message is for all of us, for each and every one of us, for the whole collective. I'd like to take this opportunity as I um, as I shuffle the cards, my dear viewers, an intention for all the messages that you need to know, everything you need to know about today, March 7th, what's igniting, what are important factors, answers from your guiding angels, from the universe, uh, from everybody um for you while i'm in the uh, putting the intention to have one important message the main one for today i'd like to take opportunity to wish you happy birthdays happy occasions happy anniversaries um i wish you a wonderful happy day today for your birthday and those of you who are not celebrating i do wish you the best of the best my dear viewers even if you're not celebrating and the card has fallen out we have a child now, in regard to child, it could be something that you're thinking, wanting to manifest in your life, perhaps. A uh, child could be the child within, also, that might need nurturing. Um, either way, let's have a look at what it's saying. Glasses on. And it says that you are you care deeply about children. Mm, this is for those of you who have started, maybe even, thinking about children. And they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. How beautiful is that? Children who really need you. And your inner child. Let's have a look at four messages, starting with the first one here. Two three and and i'll take another one from here this one here this purple okay okay so let's have a look at the messages from the tea leaves now we have wealth beautiful wealth money is coming in that's what it means it says here a hand, maybe somebody could be helping, somebody could be um, assisting, somebody could be uh, helping you get a job, somebody could be um, giving you a loan, maybe you've applied for a loan, or somebody that might help you get a loan, that's another one. In need of help, assistance, and guidance, it looks like you do need assistance, and I feel like the universe will provide. Leg, wow, leg is somebody step, someone new that's stepping into your life, that's going to be benefiting you big time. It says stepping into a new experience, according to the tea leaf. Stepping into, did I actually read this? In need of help, assistance. Yes, I did. Sometimes <laughs> I um, I read what I see and I don't march. Wow, this month is going to be spectacular. Maybe you will get assistance. Maybe wealth is coming in the month of March. Assistance or wealth, both. Very important mm, in the month of March. And assistance is there too. A new person stepping into your life and um, help, support. Okay, let's see um, important factors like um, from the Sacred Forest, March 7th, for the collective, and it says beauty. Something wonderful is taking place in your life. There's a lot of happiness coming, a lot of changes, a lot of colors, a lot of transformations. Water is about emotions, water is about life. Your life is transcending, it's becoming more wonderful. The wood nymph is about wood, and wood is about healing. Um, it is about transformations. For the better in partnerships, um, freedom. It brings you so much happiness. Business, uh, dealing with beauty, starting a business, a study, studying beauty, and you know, um, it is just enhancing your life to a high level and degree. Let's have a look. One message from these butterfly spirits, and what are they saying? Vacation. Some of you might be thinking of going on holidays, taking a vacation, taking a trip, but there is a beautiful vacation here connected to the chinese year of the rooster somehow you might be hearing some news also the parrot expression very important to pay attention to the way you express yourself very gentle now four major impacts what else the collective needs to know let's see wow the nine of swords sleepless nights worry thinking 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 mental anguish some of you might be having mental problems uh, you know, tiredness, mentally tired, that you need time out. For those of you who have written to me just recently asking for help, 
I have replied to you. Um, as you know, um, those of you who are in need of severe help, uh, you know who you are. Uh, I have already applied, um, I've already um, answered you. Maybe it hasn't gone through AUL, might have gone through another email, my private email perhaps. Uh, have a look uh, for the answer. It just reminded me of something very severe, uh, somebody's appeal. Okay. The Nine of Swords is about um, pain, anguish, guilt, blame, anxiety, depression, all of that. I'm going to clarify to see exactly how it is upsetting you, upsetting the collective, each and every one of us in our own way. It might be to do with money problems. It could be to do with the truth that's very painful. It's mainly about the truth, a very painful truth that you're coming to terms with or you're slowly realizing and you don't want to accept it. But it is happening in March in this month, that's for sure. Let's see further. What else? Okay, um, a grand rise in your money and that explains wealth. How amazing is that? A major rise in your money and wealth. Perfect. It just shows that there is going to be uh, a lot of changes in your money and, and rise actually escalating to high levels overcoming a big obstacle and um having a great victory this is also about a trip this is about a vacation also vacation this could be also about your car needs um taking care of paying attention to your car um, another matter here is about a journey a trip and um it is about Cancer, star sign cancer. Uh, if it's yourself cancer or if you're dealing with someone that's cancer, have a look at your general reading under your star sign. If it's a love matter, you can look at the love readings that I've started doing for the collective, uh, not for the collective, for every star sign according to the elements. Um, that's new and it's started and it's weekly. You'll talk all about your relationships and love uh, in general, in general about your love, everything about your love life. Um, now, uh, in regard to this, uh, the, the sword, the ace of swords, the truth, a new beginning that brings you a lot of truth, a lot of realizations, a lot of understanding, and there is a great victory for you also. An epiphany or two also there, something you might, you know, think of, grieving the loss of someone, someone that might be connected to fire energy. I'll just put this one here and leave it there. Let's take, so fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, there could be someone that you're grieving the loss of, or you might be a fire energy grieving the loss of someone that you cared about. I might clarify that. Uh, since it's the Greek, oh, I see. There is, a, it just clarified itself. It does look like something is coming to an end, end of a battle, and you're resting. And no, even though it's an end of a battle and you're resting, but you are grieving the loss of this person because you didn't want it to end. So very painful here, very painful. In some cases, it could be a passing of someone, uh, that you are grieving it is possible but you're you're taking time out and and healing from this there's a lot of healing that needs to be done from the grieving of the loss of this person wow okay affecting fire energies here very strong maybe that's why there's all this sleepless nights and tears and crying and anxiety now let's see three messages for the collective let's have a look starting with the first one and we have the tower something's falling apart something is collapsing something wonderful because that's why you are in tears in uh, having sleepless nights it's the truth that that put this tower to end um it made it collapse and the reason being is because the foundations have reached to a level where there is it can't go further maybe something reached its limit and that was it but it, no one is to blame when these two cards unite. You'll know that whenever the tower is there, you've got to know that this was something beyond um, beyond anything. And this is um, to do with, um, I'm trying to think, freedom. You have to be free from something that wasn't working anymore. You were relying on something that couldn't go on any further. The second one, painful, hurtful truth separation sometimes betrayal sometimes without betrayal just separation and hurtful truth that pierces the heart very sad finally i'll do one more and we have nine of cups beautiful good news with nine of cups mm, page of cups interesting um the nine of cups is wishes come true wishes and dreams coming true so i feel like 
everything that's collapsing here is going to bring your wishes and desires are going to be granted so whatever you've wanted is coming now it's time for it to come so even though there is this loss but there is a lot of happiness also now i'm gonna um take out two more important messages and then i'll keep going we've got spiral oh we've got coins okay the spiral is all about things being out of control which is the situation here feeling things out of control feeling that you can't control the situation when you can't control the situation you know that this is something that's meant to be it says here some of you will be climbing the ladder and getting what you want and being very happy some of you could be losing something that you've loved like work or your business but you are uh going upwards you are uh, climbing the ladder so just be a little bit patient and you'll see there are connections happening there are promotions for those of you who are losing love there's connections with someone new wonderful coming in your life um connections promotions for those of you who are losing something but you are climbing up the ladder that's another thing but things are going out of control sometimes climbing up the ladder is this this could be it and wealth, of course. Now, having coins in the story shows money is coming in, wealth is coming in. Do you see that? We've got wealth here. I'll just show you the card, wealth. And we've got wealth here. So wealth twice, um, climbing the ladder, big money coming in, a lot of money, a major rise in your money, big time. This is incredible. My dear viewers, absolutely incredible. And... Um, it explains that the coins are all about um, getting a raise again getting a raise promotions lucky being very lucky could be winning something big like a windfall a jackpot um, money's coming in good investment doing excellent and it's careers that are in sales finances banking money everything to do with money careers in, in money now that's that one and I'll just do one from here two actually the collective so we've got one wow that's so cute that one there okay it says you will never be alone for those of you who are losing someone and feeling you will be alone you will never be alone the otter spirit is all about you will never be alone never ever so you don't have to ever think about being alone and it is time for you to let go this is something beyond um beyond your hands it's something that is coming to an end and um it's really like time for it to end. All you have to do is let go so that you can move forward and heal because you are going to heal and because something wonderful is happening and your wishes are going to be coming true. Maybe uh, your wishes had stopped. You couldn't make them come true because you were stuck in a situation that you loved but wasn't right for you, perhaps. Let's have a look. The truth, everyone. Maybe you were in a relationship where the signs were showing you that this is not the person that what you want. Uh, whatever you want in the future, the truth. Um, and then finally you find out, but it's hard to leave because you really love this person. Finally something happens and it comes to an end. And there it is. There it is there. A new love is coming. So pay attention to the red flags. Here we go, what I was talking about. Paying attention to red flags, that means there are signs cautioning you and letting you know to let go. The signs have been there. Maybe you've been dismissing them because you're so much head over heels with someone, but the signs were there. there and finally, this is collapsing. Why? Because of your wishes and dreams. That's the reason this is collapsing. You were destined for something. You want something and you're not going to get it. You were not going to get it from the person, maybe, or the situation that you were in. The signs were showing you, maybe, and you didn't want to believe it. That's okay. New love is coming for those of you who are in the wrong relationship. For those of you who are in the wrong business, there's money coming. There's raise. There's a change in your uh, perspective, in your way of looking. There's, there's moving to a better place transcending where you are and there's a new person entering your life and the hand that is going to be somebody's going to be helping you move to the next level um, whether it's going to be in regard to your money or love relationship i'm seeing love all over this place here relationships a new person will stir up your romantic feelings and this new person is going to probably be the one that you are going to be expressing love you know saying go ahead make the romantic gesture this person could be the one that could be part of your dream what you wanted, what you've been wishing for. Someone that is on the same level, wavelength. So that's that one there. Now, let's see, let's see what the message is for the collective, and I'll clarify everything. 
March 7th. And it says playfulness. So someone very loving, playful, fun, happy, happy kind of a person. It says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together with someone. So maybe it's this new love that you are going to be um, having fun with. Um, it could be someone with fire energy, possibly, possibly. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Love is the greatest healer. Always remember that. So it's going to come at a time where you need it. When you are in pain, hurting, crying, uh, stressing, it's coming to heal you. Laughter and love. More than anything else, love. Because love is the greatest healer, to be quite honest with you. Nothing else can heal a wounded heart, only love. So we've established everything we need. Now I'm going to clarify. Let's have a look at this. Um, I'm going to look at the tower and I'm going to look at the three of swords together. Let's see what is this collapse all about for the collective. Wow. This is all happening due to you being with the right person. The person that you heal together, the person that you are strong together, someone that's your soulmate and you're destined to have an amazing life with. Now, for others, for others, what this collapse is, where you might be collapsing, your business might be collapsing. Your job might be falling apart. But remember, the 10 of wealth is about wealth, money to the highest level. That's coming big time. And it's going to help you overcome any obstacle, any situation. Because there is a rise, major rise. Where's the rise? Here it is. A rise in your money. A grand rise and wealth. And now we've got the card of wealth again. The 10 of pentacles. Wealth to the highest level. In degree so a lot of money is coming in somehow the spiral is that things going out of control you skyrocketing somehow making a lot of money transcending financially just incredible absolutely so that's that one now let's have a look at um, okay so we got this and we got that now this is also about someone that you are going to be meeting. Remember they just said, I said, what is this collapse and this painful matter? They said it's to do for some with money, for others it's to do with love. And the other card was this one, the soulmate. So there will be someone playful, lovable, someone new coming in your life for you to look forward to, someone beautiful, someone sexy. Let's talk about today's uh, world. What do they say? Sexy, hot. <laughs> um... I'm from the old school, so I don't use words, but I should. I should use those words. Okay, so someone really hot, uh, someone really sexy, amazing. Um, I don't know how to use smaller. Like these things, I'm not very good at that. But someone very romantic, let's say, very passionate, passion and very sexual and very uh, playful and romantic and loving and, and, and hot. Hot is the word, attractive, hot. Someone really hot. <laughs> okay, so... I'm sorry that I'm laughing, my dear, because sometimes I just, you know, I'm out of it so much, out of this uh, situa these situations. Okay, uh, like, you know, I'm not into today's, um, like, I'm not very good with today's talk and, and how things are expressed, like, in, in the mainstream. So I'm still a bit old-fashioned, old-school. Okay, uh, now, moving on to the next level. So we know what the collapse is all about. This fall is destined because you are moving it for better. That's why they said the spiral. The spiral shows that you're upgrading, you're ranking up. Whether it's money or love, you're going to the next level. So if you were with someone, obviously it wasn't the right one because you're getting a soulmate, so you're ranking up. If you were doing a business or a job that wasn't working well, well, wealth is coming, money is coming, so they've got to move you from this to take you to the level where money is going to come in and you are going to make investments that are going to pay off with the coins and and getting a raise or being lucky winning a jackpot luck here and money see luck and money this is big this is major this is incredible and wealth you see so luck could bring you um, a windfall there could be a major windfall here anyway have a look at your money reading that could help you big time so now we understand what the collapse is. Let's see what your wishes and dreams are all about. The Nine of Cups we're going to do now. Let's find out about the Nine of Cups. So remember, you're not going to be alone with the otter, so that tells you a lot. And now moving on to the Nine of Cups. Wow, a rebirth. The first thing that showed one of your wishes is to start fresh a new life that brings you happiness, compensation, a new lease of life, a rise, a major rise. I'll take two more cards in regard to the Nine of Cups, the collective, and there they are. 
Oh, they wanted to give me three. Wow. Mm. Something's hidden. You're expanding. A lot of rewards are coming. Something's hidden from you. And guess what? You've got the Empress, which is nurturing abundance in every area of your life. The most nurturing goddess, which is the Empress. Uh, the goddess of, of love and affection and, and that parental nurturing, but more, much more. The goddess of all mothers. So... You've got someone that will truly adore you and give you everything and fulfill you in many areas of your life, not just your money life, your love life, everything and more. But something is hidden from you. You'll find out more. Something hidden from your wishes, something you always wanted. It's coming. Maybe to do with the past. You are going to get something to do with the past. I feel like something to do with the past. Anyhow, now let's move forward. Oh, my God. Look what's fall. what just fell now. Have a look at that. The collapse is imminent. It's destined. It has to happen. There's no more foundations. There's no future. That's why this is falling apart. There's no future. And you seem to want a future because that's what I'm seeing. You are destined for a better future. So let's have a look. Um, this anxiety, I'll see what this um, Nine of Swords is all about, even though we know what it is. But it shows that a new beginning is coming. You are going to forget about this. A lot of money is coming. You're going to live a life of luxury, a life of abundance, a life of happiness. There is a new beginning destined and imminent. And this new beginning is going to give you the greatest victories ever. Victory after victory, a lot of realization, a lot of understanding, understanding why certain things happened. And like I said before, a great victory and a lot of epiphanies. So all these tears will come to an end. You don't have to worry about anything. Let's see about the rise in your money. What is that all about? The seven of pentacles for the collective. Okay, one more challenge and it's over. You've just got to overcome one challenge. The nine of wands is one challenge before something really comes to an end. You just clear that and you will pass this. You will reach the end no matter how hard it is. Then you get the great news of um, truth that helps you move forward. You get to know where you're at, what's happening, and the go-ahead. You get great news that tell you, the, that give you the right and the go-ahead to move forward without any problems, without any, uh, nothing standing in your way. All uncertainties disappear and you get everything that is here, which is a grand rise in your money. Great news coming could be a windfall. This could be connected to someone of earth energy, someone that will stand by you, help you, support you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Beautiful. That's the end of that section. Now let's have a look at this great victory and see what this great victory is all about. Wow. Wow. Look at that. The great victory is about you either winning victory could be a great win because this is extreme luck and abundance and we've got the card of wealth but also we've got the ten of cups your dreams come true wishes come true having your dream home your dream life having it all actually having so much that both tens uh the ten of happiness and dream and paying off your home or owning your home or starting your dream life and the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wealth and Abundance, all coming at a time where destiny intervenes and gives you everything. Remember also that the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, wishes being granted. My DV was wishes being granted. That is incredible. So the Chariot, this great victory, is going to give you everything you've always wanted. Extreme luck, control, the universe and your guardian angels and destiny, all, whatever you believe in, they're controlling everything to take you to the next level. A level where you will be very comfortable, very happy, and extremely nurtured. So never fear when you have the Empress in your reading. You are nurtured. You are going to be taken care of. You're not going to be alone. That's what's hidden from you. This is what you don't know, the rewards that are coming. That your higher self is saying to you, it's going to get better. You're moving to a better place while you're crying in tears and 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 in agony and pain, not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow, how much longer will I wait? The universe is planning and divine timing is going to take you to where you're supposed to be at the right time. And that's very important to know. In the worst of time in our lives, we need to remember that. So you're destined for happiness no matter what. And the victory is there and there's the victory where you don't see coming victory. So at a time where you're feeling sad, distressed, victory comes to your rescue twice. You see that? 
You'll overcome any obstacle. You are destined for happiness. That's what this is. Again, repeating the victory so you know you are going to be victorious. You are going to overcome any problem. Even that challenge that I said, there's only one more challenge and it's over. You will overcome that challenge and you are reaching to a level of absolute bliss. Absolute bliss and abundance in every area of your life. Great victory awaits you. And the destiny will be with you in every way. So now you know exactly where you're at in regard to this victory. Now let's have a look at the Ace of Swords because it did come up twice uh, in your reading, this new beginning. For the whole collective, the new beginning. Wow. A new beginning happens after a major ending. Transformations, transitions, a change, major change, but an end. An ending, then you are moving forward slowly to a wonderful new beginning. Somebody might be alongside you, someone of earth energy. If you're earth like yourself, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, it is also about working and finally reaching your goal, your dream goal. After an ending, you're reaching everything. Partnerships will be doing well. In fact, there'll be commitment and there could be a proposal that you won't be able to refuse. So partnerships and lovers, we have lovers, we have commitment, we have proposal. There, you'll be meeting the one, perhaps, the one that will propose and want to spend the rest of your life with you. And you'll think how quickly, but because things had to collapse for you to reach to the next level where you'll be meeting your soulmate or your twin flame, whoever it is that you are destined to be with. So that's what we're talking about here. Now let's have a look at what the Chinese cookies want to add to this, what they want to tell us. We're going to take two cards. 7th March. Okay, here we go. It says assert yourself. Assert yourself. It says, go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate. How beautiful. How intriguing. For soulmate. Connections. I'll put it here so you can read it. Soulmate, connection. There's a soulmate. The two of cups is nothing but a soulmate. Someone that you unite with. Someone that you've had past life with. Someone that you are destined to heal, grow, and, and thrive. And because come strong together. That's what the time is ripe for. So assert yourself. Prepare yourself. If you have to let go, let go. You'll never be alone. That's what they said. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for your soulmate connections. Birth of a child is also likely. That's why we had a child here, you see. Birth of a child is also likely. How amazing. How to the point. Birth of a child. Okay. So maybe that's why child came. Some of you are having a baby. And congratulations to those who are going to become mothers. Or maybe you are having a second or third child. Congratulations. And you have a wonderful birth. Okay. Easy, healthy, safety birth. For, for those of you having a baby. Now, future. It says you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Somebody might be coming from overseas and staying over. You might be hosting them. Or you might be traveling yourself. Either way, great social fun awaits. Great social fun. Remember we had vacation. So some of you could be traveling. This is also confirming um, some sort of travel. Some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be hosting someone that is on vacation here. So either way, it's going to be spectacular, fun and excitement. I hope you enjoyed the reading. My dear viewers, do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel in support of me. It doesn't cost anything. And also remember to watch the videos all the way to the end in support of me. Also, I look forward to your comments. If there's anything that touched your heart here i'd love to hear about it love to hear from you wish you a lot of love and light and abundance of joy and happiness namaste